What is up, sexy beast? Crazy Rabbit here, and E3 is almost over, and so far we have seen Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1 and a lot of other games that I would love to talk about, but today we're just going to be talking about Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1 and my impressions of them, my reaction to them, and anything else I got to say, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. So I guess let's start off with Infinite Warfare because that's the most recent one I actually watched, and that's probably the reaction that all of you guys want to see. So as soon as the trailer actually started playing, and I'm going to be playing clips of it, I can't play the full thing because every time I do, for some reason, only me gets hit with a content ID claim. You know, fucking Activision loves me. But as soon as the trailer began, it had this really hardcore sci-fi feeling to it, and I immediately knew, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is Infinite Warfare, I can already tell you. And then eventually, you know, you start to pick it up that this is Call of Duty, like they're shooting and all this other stuff, and all the faces, like you can kind of tell, like when you look at a Call of Duty, anybody in Call of Duty, like their face, you can kind of tell like this is a Call of Duty game. I don't know what it is about, like their graphics, but you can definitely tell. And then eventually, they start walking through this huge ship, and then that's when the Star Wars scene begins, like, you know, they're actually fighting in space, and it was basically Star Wars, except for you didn't have like lasers, it was like bullets, I would, would say. But there was a lot of explosions, and there was a lot of flying around in space, and a lot of battles. And then they actually went to the gun battles in space, where people are floating around, double jumping, just no gravity in space, killing things. Was not a huge fan, like, I'm not the world's biggest fan of sci-fi and futuristic games, like, that's just not for me, that's not the kind of games I like. If those are the games you like, you'll probably love this game. But me, not a huge fan of sci-fi, I just don't know what it is about sci-fi, it's a real turnoff for me. So I'm definitely probably not gonna like Infinite Warfare, especially with the space battles, the zero gravity, and all that other junk. It's definitely not a game for me. Now you might be saying, Rabbit, you haven't seen multiplayer yet, well I can basically assume what multiplayer is going to be like, just from everything we've seen so far. And they did say that the Black Ops 3 movement system is going to be in Infinite Warfare, and I didn't like Black Ops 3 multiplayer. I put maybe 20 minutes into it, and never touched it again. I really don't like Black Ops 3. The only thing I like about Black Ops 3 is zombies. Have not touched campaign, have not touched, what is that, like nightmare mode or something? I haven't touched multiplayer. Just do not like that game. I didn't like Advanced Warfare. The only reason I ever played that was because my friends played it, and like after a day or two of playing it, I was like, okay, this EXO bullshit is really annoying. Hopefully it doesn't return, and then it fucking did. I think the only futuristic COD game that I really enjoyed was Black Ops 2, and that's because it really wasn't that too futuristic. Like, we basically have almost everything that was in Black Ops 2, so it really wasn't too sci-fi and too futuristic. Even though I didn't like Black Ops 2's campaign, I played through it, and I didn't really like it. But I did enjoy multiplayer and zombies, you guys know how I feel about Black Ops 2 zombies. But Infinite Warfare was definitely a huge disappointment, especially after the trailer. I can definitely tell that I'm not going to enjoy this game. I'm still going to get it, just because I really want COD 4, and you know, who knows, maybe zombies in Infinite Warfare will actually be good. I doubt it, but maybe it will. So that's why I'm going to be getting Infinite Warfare, unfortunately. I really, trust me, I really don't want to spend the money on it. I would rather buy COD 4 and then just be good, but... You know, I don't think you can do that. The only good part about the Infinite Warfare trailer was after that was over, they actually showed COD 4, and everyone, I think, was more excited about that. And also, Infinite Warfare's applause wasn't really that good. Like, a couple people clapped, but like, after they announced, like, Crash Bandicoot next and LEGO Star Wars, I think a lot more people clapped for those games than Infinite Warfare. So Infinite Warfare's E3 did not go so well for me, and I saw a lot of other people kind of agreeing with me and just being like, this game is just too futuristic, what the fuck happened to COD? And I completely agree, you know? Call of Duty isn't really, to me, a futuristic game. I mean, if you like futuristic games, this is your game, but for me, Call of Duty is a war simulator. Like, I'm supposed to be in actual wars. Maybe a little bit into the future, like Black Ops 2, but nothing too ridiculous to where I'm floating around and fighting robots in space, and basically playing Star Wars. Alright, so now let's go and talk about Battlefield 1. So Battlefield, I think, was on the first day of E3, and at first they showed a trailer, and then they had like a, I think it was a 64 player game, I think that's how many people they actually had, and it was like a bunch of YouTubers and celebrities, and that was freaking amazing, Snoop Dogg was high as fuck when he was playing. And Battlefield 1 looks absolutely amazing. I recently bought Battlefield 4, I've been playing that, and that's the gameplay you're seeing in the background. And I'm not very good at it, but I still try. And Battlefield 1 looks amazing, everything about it looks awesome. When I first heard about Battlefield 1 being in World War 1, I, I was like, yes, this is going to be awesome, I can't wait, finally we're going back in time, finally someone listened to somebody, and then I started thinking, well, you know, World War 1 was a lot of, like, bold action rifles, and trench warfare, how are they going to make that fun? And from what I've seen in Battlefield 1 multiplayer, 
it looks amazing and it looks like it's gonna be so much fun it kind of reminds me a lot of world at war like honestly that's the kind of vibe i was getting from watching battlefield 1 it was a world at war game with newer graphics bigger maps and more stuff to play with and to me it looked like it played like a battlefield game i've been recently playing a lot of battlefield 4 you always have something in the air you always got to worry about a tank you always got to worry about an lav you always got to worry about someone trying to snipe you and it looked like all those aspects were actually carried over pretty well into battlefield 1 so Battlefield 1, in my opinion, definitely kicked Infinite Warfare's ass so hard at E3. It kicked its ass, it stole its lunch money, it went out and bought some Viagra just so it could fuck Infinite Warfare one more time. And I am definitely going to be getting Battlefield 1, whatever is like the Legacy, Premium, Deluxe, whatever edition there is, I'm definitely going to be getting it. Because this game looks like it's going to be so much fun and I'm definitely going to put a lot of time and effort into it and I would love to make videos about it. So if you guys like to see some videos about Battlefield 1, let me know in the comments, because I'm definitely going to be doing some Battlefield 1, COD 4, Infinite Warfare Zombies, if it happens to be good, we'll see. And if by 1 in the 100 and million, kajillion, billion, trillion, whatever the highest fucking infinite number there is, if Infinite Warfare multiplayer happens to be good, which I can guarantee you it won't, I will maybe consider playing it. But that's my thoughts about E3 and Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1. I think Battlefield 1 totally outshined Infinite Warfare. Everyone knows it. And if you're on the fence about getting into a Battlefield game, go play Battlefield 4. It's a ton of fun, even though it's been out for a long time. You can still pick it up and kind of carry your COD skills over into Battlefield. It's not going to, you know, transition perfectly, but you still got the basic feels of it. And if you're going to be getting Battlefield 1, I would totally love to grab a bunch of people and then just go wreck some other people or get wrecked, you know, whichever happens to happen. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.